Back again with another torture view. I've got the WowTac Black Scout Survival version 3 in for review and testing. This was sent in via WowTac. As usual, everything's laid out on the table, but we'll just go through the included items. There's the micro USB cable for charging the battery. You get two spare O-rings in the pack with this. And we also have a red filter. You'll see there's a coating on this filter. Um, it's called of a green tint, but there is red. Um, I assume that's to either anti-reflective or to keep dirt off and we have uh, stainless steel looks like sandblasted bezel and this has chiseled edges it's not sharp as it will cut you or anything like that no doubt someone will sharpen them up and there is the uh, stainless steel clip included as well so looking at the torch the first thing you'll notice with this is that it's quite a small size actually particularly compared to a lot of 18650 torches and it's quite different in design to the WowTac A1S which I looked at uh, very recently so you see they've moved the side switch to the bottom and they've also that's recessed with a silicone cover on it so it's uh, quite a good action on that it's not too easy to press but there's a cutout section there makes it a bit easy to get to and you have no dovetail on this one just easy access to the uh, tail switch so that's one of the design changes I haven't actually used the previous version you don't unscrew this at the bottom that's sealed you have to go up to the top and unscrew it near the head now this already came pre-greased up and square cut threads as well so there should be no problems at all with that I found the quality good on this and you also have a spring at the top of the head this is the battery it's the same battery in, as the A1S the micro USB charging I will do another test on this just to make sure for consistency and you also have another spring inside so if you want to use flat top cells with this absolutely no problems at all but obviously this is the one that it comes with now just screw it back on good fit on this doesn't require too much pressure threads are nicely greased and the clip just one position really for the clip snap that into place quite firm now you notice there's nowhere to put a wrist strap with this you don't get one included but you could attach one to the clip that's an option for you now on to the LED XBL V6 smooth reflector one thing I noticed it didn't seem to have the uh, coatings or I couldn't really see any coatings on the glass but you have that thread there so you can attach the filter and the bezel comparing it to the A1S you can see it's quite a bit shorter they've really managed to keep the size down on this completely different design as well and even when you screw in the stainless steel bezel it is actually still shorter than the A1S with that in place so if you want a pocket torch obviously I'd prefer to take the bezel off if you're carrying it in your pocket then this one's actually quite a nice size locks into place quite firmly threads on that are good now this could be used for other things not just self-defense but if you needed to perhaps break a glass window on a door of a car or something like that you need to get out it could be used for that as well that would be quite useful sometimes just reverse twist the threads just to get it in place and that's the red filter that's something I definitely would use is the red filter that would be quite useful at night onto the UI base switch momentary on half press and full press is on this always starts in the highest power level and then you just use the side switch to cycle through three power levels on this one not sure why they've gone with three the a1s had four but you know we'll go through that and have a look at that later on with some beam shots outside so very simple straightforward UI with this and if you need to get the strobe just push in the side switch if you push and hold it in for around about five seconds it locks into the strobe it keeps it on and that works regardless of whether it's on or off you have that instant access to the strobe that's obviously a redesign I haven't used the version 2 but I could see from videos that I watched it was a triple press on the base switch so this is definitely aimed at someone who wants easy access to the strobe and it achieves that with this design obviously if you have the stainless steel bezel on you'll be able to see if you've left the torch on downside to the design there's no dovetail near the base cap so you can't stand this up unless you prop it up against something so that's uh, one area to think about whereas the A1S you could do that personally I like to have the ability to stand a torch but that's a minor point and you also have the flat edges which resist rolling even if you haven't got the clip on it now just a comparison with the A1S now you'll notice that the version 2 from what I can see is very similar to the A1S some differences but you have that thread on the top rather than the uh, crenulated bezel so if you weren't 
um, you wanted an alternative model, you could actually look at that. It's about $10 cheaper, I think, than the version 3. The version 3 is definitely aimed at someone who wants that tactical design and the strobe, instant access to the strobe, and it works quite well. It works better than I was expecting with the switch placement, although it does take a bit of getting used. So you can see here you can hold it normally and then adjust the power output with a finger. Only downside that I found is that if you've got really thick gloves, um, wool gloves or something like that, it just takes a bit more effort to find the switch position. So onto the user manual, this just lists out some of the details and specs from the three power levels. They've spaced them out quite well. Personally, would have gone for four levels. It's also the details there if I've missed anything. And you see the battery came in virtually on target with uh, just under the uh, 3,400 milliamps an hour. Battery test, same results that I got the A1S. So the charging speed, 780 milliamps. Termination a bit high at 4.23 volts. It's something they could look at. Um, but overall, decent result with the battery. Easy to see with the LED indicator. Going through with the A1S now on the power levels, and you see because we have, I'm just doing the top three settings, not the lowest, that we have a bit more even spacing with the power output on this. To be honest, you'd be pushed to notice the difference between this and the Black Scout. Really isn't a lot of difference at all in terms of top end. Had to move the camera position slightly because of the high winds that I had when I was doing the testing. And then we're up to the top. So not exactly the same, but pretty much the same from a practical perspective. Now you'll notice that when I put the stainless steel bezel I'll twist it around so you can see in the video and that does narrow the beam pattern down a bit and you do see the pattern on the outer edges not something that particularly bothered me but it did want to include it just so you had that information and the red filter very impressed with this you get still get a nice power output obviously it cuts the power down a bit but you still get a good power output from that just run through a few more beam shots now and we'll come back with a few thoughts at the end
you'll notice on the beam shots with the red filter on there is a bit of a green tint on the edges it's not something that particularly bothered me but it is worth mentioning so that's why it's included so mostly good news with this they've definitely gone for the tactical style uh, with the black scout survival version 3 and that takes priority over the other design areas so you're very easy access to the strobe you have the red filter the aggressive stainless steel bezel and it works very well in that area on the other hand uh, i would personally prefer an extra power level that means you could space it out a bit more evenly and drop the lowest output so four instead of three and the tactical design isn't for everyone if you want to base down a torch or you prefer the normal position for the side switch you might find this takes a bit of getting used to but it did work better than i was expecting just uh, not quite as good if you have gloves on also would have adjusted the termination touch over the ideal 4.2 volts so that means it will reduce the cycles on the battery so they need to look at that area as well so overall though it is a nice torch i think a lot of people are going to like this particularly if you need this tactical design and the easy strobe access thanks for watching the video and i'll see you soon